So hello ladies and gentlemen, we're back again round 8 on our season 4 here on F1 Manager 23. Now if you didn't watch the last episode, one of the shorter episodes of the season as it tends to be uh, Monte Carlo. It did provide a little bit of entertainment but once again, difficult race for us. Max Verstappen winning, uh, Max very much back at the top. Pierre Gasly in P5, Lando Norris in P7. Not the best race for us. Uh, we did use a couple of used engine parts as well so I'm not overly disappointed with that result. This weekend should suit us a little bit more but let's have a little look at the standings because constructors wise we are still we are still top sorry by 12 points from red bull ferrari in p3 driver standings wise max verstappen's back at the top from lando norris pierre gasly in p3 and george russell is in p4 this weekend this car should suit uh, sorry this track should suit us a little bit better uh, the circuit de catalonia 66 laps around here and um, car attributes top speed and medium speed cornering that's a little bit better for us the expected strategy is a two stop from soft and medium you can chuck the hards in as well we'll see how the weekend plays out but apart from that ladies and gentlemen there is not too much to tell you about we are now manufacturing the new underflow which will give us a boost in performance and also a new chassis as well so we've got a few things going on in the background but i'm going to get through practice and i'll see you in qualifying for the spanish grand prix Final laps then in Q3. It must be said, Lando Norris has got the new underfloor on. Pierre Gasly hasn't, just due to the manufacturing times. But Lando Norris crosses the line good enough for P2. At this moment in time, Pierre Gasly is not having the best second lap. And that is the difference in performance between the two cars this weekend. Lando Norris has been very much at the sharp end. Pierre Gasly being in and around sort of 5th, 6th, 7th, around that sort of area. Pierre Gasly, P8. Let's fast forward on a little bit and see where we all ended up. So George Russell will be on pole position for tomorrow alongside Lando Norris. Pierre Gasly down in P8. Two slightly different races here, but it'll be interesting to see what we can do. Let's get to the strategy. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, strategy time. So Lando Norris, let's just have a look at the tyre compounds. It's got two fresh sets of soft compound tyres. So we are going to put him on the soft to start, switching onto the mediums, then to the softs. Pierre Gasly has got two fresh sets of mediums, so he's going to start on the soft compound, try and make up a few positions, then get the undercut onto the mediums and push on from there. So P2, P8, let's see what we can do. The stage is set here in Barcelona as we get ready for 66 laps of the Spanish Grand Prix. Now I wonder, will things be going Lando Norris's way in this race? It's a P2 start for them, an excellent opportunity, and no doubt they'll be looking to grab it with both hands. But just what will happen here, your guess is as good as mine. This is it. It's the Spanish Grand Prix. It's lights out, and away we go. And away we're going straight away. We are keeping our eyes on Lando Norris, who looks like he got the jump on George Russell off the line. He's going to have the inside line into turn one. Let's hope there are no collisions here. Lando Norris just about got his nose in front. Is he going to manage to get in front of that Red Bull and possibly try and burn away and break the DRS? That would be ideal if he could, but Lando Norris has got his nose in front. Off the start. Lovely work from Lando. Pierre Gasly already up into P7, gaining a position, and now looking at the back of a tail for Sharon. We've seen George Russell's off. George Russell is off on lap one in Catalonia. We saw George Russell disappearing into the gravel trap. My word, George Russell, that is huge, huge news for us so far this weekend. Let's have a little look right, at the so replay here. The George Russell is chasing down Lando Norris. Maybe just got a bit of dirty air, this not quite warmed his tyres up right, but George Russell into the barriers, and how big could that be in the constructors and drivers' standings? And you can see the disappointment in the Red Bull garage there, and rightly so, because if that were one of our drivers, I'd be very upset as well. What this is going to allow Lando Norris to do, where he's still fighting with Checo Perez, is run away, break the DRS, and possibly get away, and then we can control the race from there. Pierre Gasly's now up into P6, and he's looking at the back of the Alfa Romeo Haas can't quite get the job done so far, but on lap one, big advantage to Andretti Cadillac. Do you know when things seem to be going your way? Teo Porsche, he was the bottleneck. He was stopping us from keeping up with Esteban Ocon in that lovely underpowered Aston Martin. He carried straight on at turn one, which let Pierre Gasly drive past him without having to overtake, which we've thoroughly enjoyed because now that means that Pierre Gasly's got a 1.4 second gap to Leclerc and he's on the back of Esteban Ocon and will get the DRS. Lando Norris hasn't quite managed to break away from Max Verstappen, unfortunately. Verstappen's going with us, but we are still pushing on lap three. 
And Verstappen looks incredibly quick today. Let's have a little look at this. Max Verstappen, DRS wide open. Lando Norris did defend it a little bit, but not overly so. And now Max Verstappen is in the lead of the Grand Prix. If we can share DRS with Max Verstappen, pull away from the rest of the grid, I would fancy us over the course to get this win. But it's a battle. We've got two cars in the fight. Red Bull haven't. Pierre Gasly's now on the back of Esteban Ocon. We are just calming him down on the tyres a little bit, getting the tyres into the optimum window. You can see Norris has got better tyres than Verstappen as well. Um, it's going to be very interesting to see how this strategy plays out, but a lap four, Verstappen leads from Norris. Pierre Gasly has got Esteban Ocon. We've seen this overtake a lot so far this season, and Pierre Gasly, lovely work. Uh, through the medium speed corners of which we are good at is now on the bike of the next McLaren which I believe is Checo Perez so it's a very interesting race so far this let's have a little look as we check in Norris has broken the DRS to Verstappen we had a little push on the tyres went to a little bit more attack mode and um, we just pulled out 1.6 seconds to Verstappen which we are absolutely enjoying Pierre Gasly on the other hand is now on the back of Checo Perez in the the fight for a podium so we could have two andrettis on the podium today george russell dear oh dear all the way down in p19 stuck behind the hugo boss and we know how and we know how slow the hugo boss can be we've got some early pit stops checo perez and ocon pitting verstappen's caught back up with lando norris at this moment in time verstappen's tires must be nearly dead Lando Norris is going to get a couple of extra uh, laps out of these soft compound tyres. Pierre Gasly now is looking at when to be coming in. So very interesting indeed. What tyres has Perez gone on to? He's gone on to the medium. So very interesting indeed here. We will have a look at Pierre Gasly in the next lap or so. Right, ladies and gents, we are pitting at Pierre Gasly to cover off Checo Perez and the undercut. Felt it made sense to do so. Perez has come out in a nice little gap, and I would quite like to exploit that as well. Uh, we're keeping an eye on where Lando and Norris have come out. I don't want to pit too early with Lando, um, especially when, really, we've got to want to softs at the end. So we need to be a bit more different with Lando and Norris, but Pierre Gasly can do this. He's got two sets of mediums. Let's see. Where is Checo Perez? Checo Perez in P13, just coming around the final corner. Pierre Gasly trundling away in P7. Are we going to manage to come out in front of the McLaren? It's looking exceptionally tight, but Perez, I believe, isn't going to get us. Is Pierre Gasly going to get in front of him? It's very, very close. He's not. Pierre Gasly stayed out a lap longer and made it work. Gasly out in front of Perez. Lap 19, Verstappen is in to the pits. We are going to respond once we see where Max Verstappen. Max Verstappen is going to the hard compound tyre. Very interesting from Max Verstappen. Maybe he doesn't feel like he can make the... Uh, he's got an extra set of softs at the end. We have. This could give us a bonus over Max Verstappen. Let's see where he comes out. I'd expect him to come out in a little bit of traffic here. Max Verstappen, we are just going to push on now push. with Lando Norris. But Max Verstappen, is he going to be in traffic? He's got a couple of cars in front of him. But we're going to be pitting Lando this lap. Into the pits comes Lando Norris. We are seeing a yellow flag on circuit. We didn't quite catch the Pierre Gasly. Uh, we didn't quite catch the Pierre Gasly overtake yeah, there on Joe Guan Yu. It was just spinning, in fact. We'll have a little look at this while... Uh, Lando Go Norris is trundling down the pit lane, but we can see there, look at that, just spinning off on the soft compound tyre. Zhou Guan Yu in the Williams not having a good time of it. One man who is having a good time of it at the moment is Lando Norris. We're just going to calm down a little bit with Pierre Gasly. Are we going to get a decent stop here? It's not the best once again. 4.1 seconds. These pit stops are killing us this year. And that is going to allow, where is Max Verstappen? In P6, just coming around the final corner, but he's stuck behind Alexander Albon. Where's Lando Norris? Lando Norris just struggling out of the pit lane now. You can see Verstappen is passed. The undercut has worked for Verstappen, but Norris now onto the medium compounded tyre. Pierre Gasly's having to negotiate a little bit of traffic and he's doing it rather well. He's just got past Daniel Ricciardo in the Alfa Romeo house. Beautiful work from him and I believe he's also just negotiated past the Audi as well. Let's have a cut back to the live action. Where is Pierre Gasly? He's now sat behind the Mercedes of Alexander Albon. He's putting distance between himself and Checo Perez. Meanwhile, Lando Norris just pushing on at the moment, trying to catch up to Max Verstappen and that DRS. Pierre Gasly is quicker than but Checo Perez. And as we can see here, Pierre Gasly into turn one, getting the job done. He's got a fresh set of mediums to go on to as well, Pierre Gasly. I'm really excited for what Pierre could do towards the end of this Grand Prix. Meanwhile, Lando Norris is back in the DRS of Max Verstappen. It took a little while, to be fair, but he's just going light on the tyres now. We need to save these towards the end. And that's when Lando will be on the softs and can hopefully pull away from Max. 
Do you know, these Hugo bosses, Nico Hulkenberg, let's have a little look at this. He's under pressure from the Williams, but watch what happens here. Nico Hulkenberg just locking up into turn one. Cannot do anything, can it, that Hugo boss? They really need more support from Red Bull. Uh, but meanwhile, we are going to have a full rundown as we're just coming up towards halfway. Lando Norris is within four tenths of a second of Max Verstappen going very, very light on the tyres now. Uh, we've got Perez in P3, Gasly in P4. Uh, we've then got Ocon in P5, Piastri P6 with the fastest lap, Leclerc P7, Sonoda 8, Bottas 9, Hamilton in P10, George Russell all the way down in P16. Lap 37, Checo Perez is in for a set of hard compound attire. Um, Pierre Gasly's been harvesting his energy. He's been absolutely loving it behind uh, Checo Perez. He's now going to go attack. He's on mediums towards the end, remember. Lando Norris just about sticking with Max Verstappen at the moment. We are going onto the softs at the end, but he's been looking after those tyres really, really well as Lando. Lap 37. Into the pits. He's coming, Pierre Gasly. Perez has obviously got that undercut on him, but we're now going onto the mediums to the end. This was our optimal pit lap, to be fair. So we're not too upset at the moment at all. Lando Norris has got about another five or six laps to go on this but this is working very very well at the moment for Lando Norris where is Pierre Gasly going to come out with his key it looks a decent stop from our guys 3.1 seconds not the worst uh, Lando Norris is really towing onto the back of Max Verstappen here it is working very very well indeed that has been the cue for a lot of cars to come in and pit uh, but where is Checo Perez this is key coming down the start finish straight Pierre Gasly in P7 where is Perez is he going to come out in front of Perez he certainly is Pierre Gasly has once again proven the undercut has not quite worked. And now Pierre Gasly is going to run away. We are not going to be waiting about for Checo Perez to catch up with us. We are going to push on now with Pierre to try and break the DRS and cement a podium. You know how much I love Pierre Gasly. I know how much you love Pierre Gasly. And he's just made this overtake on Yuki Tsunoda, which could be absolutely crucial for the podium because what he's done is he's managed to put a car between himself and Checo Perez, a car that is really struggling on its tyres. And now he's looking to push away. Pierre Gasly now in P4. Tsunoda's just pit. But Pierre Gasly now trying to push on and break the DRS of Checo Perez. Meanwhile, Lando Norris right. still staying in touch with Max Verstappen and should be coming into the soft compound tyre at the end hit lane for Lando Norris lap 45 we reckon we're going to get out behind Leclerc um, Pierre Gasly's managed to drop Checo Perez so that's gone really well for him but this is an important moment we could do a good pit stop here oh my goodness Lando Norris he's not getting the look on these pit stops at all it's a 5.3 second stop Gasly's doing okay but my word, that could have just cost him the Grand Prix. He's got to push like mad now on these tyres. And it's happening far, far too much. We are doing everything we can behind the scenes. Where is Pierre Gasly? Pierre Gasly could possibly jump his teammate here. And he has. Pierre Gasly is out in front of Lando Norris. What an undercut from him. Lando Norris now. It's his hammer time. Lando Norris, tough, tough work that. We had to swap the cars. Pierre Gasly let Lando go. And Lando managing to get past Charles Leclerc, then getting the DRS and pushing on. And as you're going to see as we cut back to the live action now, you are going to see Lando Norris has just set the new fastest lap of the Grand Prix. Pushing on now, Lando Norris really trying to make these tyres work to make sure that he gets that undercut on Max Verstappen. Pierre Gasly in P4 behind Charles Leclerc pushing on as well. It's looking really good for the Andretti Cadillac boys today. We just need to make sure that Gasly clears this Ferrari pretty quickly. And you just know, don't you? You just know when Pierre Gasly's got to make an overtake, he makes the overtake, gets the job done, DRS wide open, and that is beautiful work. You can see Lando Norris in front of him as well. Pierre Gasly may have a very, very interesting part to play in the remainder of this Grand Prix. Uh, Lando Norris has basically used now all his ERS. Uh, and he's just calming down the tyres a little bit. Remember, it's going to be a bit of a stretch to get these uh, these softs towards the end. But Pierre Gasly is doing everything right at this moment in time. Max Verstappen is into the pit lane onto a set of soft compounder tyres. Now, where, oh, where is this all going to play out? Because Pierre Gasly coming down the start, finish straight. Lando Norris now is in the lead of the Circuit de Catalunya, the Spanish Grand Prix, and he's put a distance between himself and Max Verstappen. And Pierre Gasly, he has got a rear gunner as well. So Pierre Gasly now will just have to charge up his battery a little bit. Just make sure that he can make this work. Lando Norris now on standard towards the end of the Grand Prix. Lap 50, 16 laps to go. It's Norris from Gasly, Leclerc's in P3, but has got 
to pit again. We've then got Perez, Verstappen in P5, Piastri P6, then comes Ocon, Albon, Sonoda and Hamilton. Are they fresh softs? They certainly are. Verstappen's got the best tyres. Lando's got, got track position. We've seen a few lockups today, and after Teo Porsche's exceptional performance in Monaco, we can see Teo Porsche's not having the best of days in the Alfa Romeo house, just because carrying on their safety car really wouldn't have suited us. Teo Porsche is off. You can see that George Russell was trundling through there. Where is George Russell? Down in P15. Right. The situation is this. Verstappen is catching Gasly at a rate of knots. Gasly's now just calming down on his tyres, because to be fair, he has used them up a little bit, but he's going to be the rear gunner for his teammate Lando Norris. We should be able to secure a double podium today. It's going to be very crucial that Pierre Gasly holds up Max Verstappen as much as he possibly can. It's going to get very, very interesting. Lap 55, Norris in P1, Gasly in P2. Sadly, it didn't manage to hold him up for that long. That Red Bull is looking imperiously quick at the moment. He tried to block did Pierre Gasly, but couldn't quite make it work. And Max Verstappen now is in front of the Gasman, up into P2 and fighting with both Andretti Cadillacs. It's important now that Gasly recognises that he's in a race with Checo Perez. He's doing everything he can to keep hold of Verstappen. Verstappen's got the tyres on Lando Norris. It's going to be very, very tight towards the end. 10 to go. Okay. We've had a crash on circuit. Virtual safety car. Oh, dear, George Russell. What's happened here? It looks like we've got a puncture on the Mercedes car. And George Russell doesn't slow down enough. Um, and I think that pretty much sums it up from George Russell. A VSC has not come at a totally bad time for us here. Because this allows us to conserve on the tyres. Get our battery charge back up. Uh, because Verstappen's managed to bring it down to 2.2 seconds, the gap. It's very, very close. Verstappen, 58% tyres. There's going to be a tyre offset, but my word, that has helped us a little bit. We are back to green flag running. Lando Norris has got to make it five laps with lesser tyres. He's trying to get his tyres back up to temperature at the moment um, and get away from Max Verstappen. He's now pushing on the battery once again, trying to catch up to the car in front to get a little bit of help in of DRS as well. That would be absolutely ideal, wouldn't it? Max Verstappen, 1.6 seconds gap to Norris. Pierre Gasly cemented in P3. It's all about whether Lando can win this race. Lando Norris on lap 65. This race looks like it's going to be one lap too much for us. The tyres are dead. Lando Norris is doing everything he possibly can to cover off Max Verstappen. Pierre Gasly's conserving tyres. His job is done, but as we come towards this final lap, could he possibly, could he possibly hold off Max Verstappen, who's got the tyres? This is going to be absolutely crucial. I cannot see how Lando Norris manages to defend this for two more DRS zones. Let's see what he can do here. He's covering off left and right. Is Lando Norris going to manage to stop Max Verstappen winning the Spanish Grand Prix? Doesn't look like he is. He's got him into turn one. And how disappointing is this at this moment in time? He's got to be aggressive on the overtaking now as Lando Norris. He's going to get a couple of DRS zones to try and get this position back i would expect to see max verstappen run off into the sunset will the car in front of the back marker have any impact as well it's so so crucial what can lando norris do here we are going to give him all the battery everything he's possibly got please don't let max verstappen get drs off that car in front that would be rather unfair i believe but here is lando norris we are coming up to a drs zone we are going to ride on board with the British driver. Max Verstappen hasn't got DRS. Lando Norris has. What's going to happen here? We haven't got the traction. Max Verstappen again into the final couple of corners. He's looking very ominous. It looks like it's job done for Max Verstappen. Is this bike marker? Possibly going to get in the way. This could be absolutely crucial. Let's try and drive in clear air as well. No, I don't think we need to. Max Verstappen's got it won. He's going to get an extra help in a DRS as well. Lando Norris, possibly one lap too far. Fair play to Max Verstappen. He wins the Spanish Grand Prix. Lando Norris in P2. Pierre Gasly in P3. Constructors standings-wise, it's been a fantastic weekend for us. Unfortunately, Max does what Max does and managed to win the Grand Prix. My word, what a race for Andretti Cadillac. Let's get to the podium. What a remarkable drive by Lando Norris today. That was an excellent performance. They set out with a great strategy and it paid off with an impressive podium finish. We may see these kind of scenes a lot in Formula One, but it's easy to forget just what it means to the whole team. And after such a fabulous drive here today, 
it's no surprise to see this man land on the podium. It gets even better for the team with both drivers scoring a podium finish this weekend. As we said, constructor standings wise, that's pretty decent. And it's sad not to see Lando on the top so step of that podium, but it was a valiant drive from Lando Norris. And to be fair, we got a bit of help with the VSC. Maybe Pierre Gasly could have held him up a little bit longer, but we are very much in the constructors' fight, as well as the drivers as well. But Verstappen wins from Lando Norris, Pierre Gasly in at P3. Then comes Perez and Piastri, McLarens, P4 and P5, Leclerc in P6. Then comes Ocon, Sonoda, Hamilton, Carlos Sainz making up the top 10. Bad, bad day for George Russell, who was a DNF on the day. Driver standings wise, Verstappen extends his lead now to 19 points in the driver's standings. Pierre Gasly in at P3 has got a comfortable cushion over George Russell. We can see Leclerc in P5 and Lewis Hamilton in P7 to Aston Martins in P9 and P10. Constructor standings wise, we are still top. We had a better weekend than Red Bull, 278 points. That is 19 points, is it? 19 points, I think, in front of Red Bull, Ferrari in P3. It's a two-horse fight between Andretti and Red Bull for the Constructors' Championship. I hope you've enjoyed that, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we so nearly got that win. Sadly not to be, but hopefully we'll be back to winning ways next week. Please do like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. ta -ra.